Dunsky Castle has had the reputation for hundreds of years of being incredibly haunted. Dark tales of the castle's past abound in legend. Walter de Curry was known as being particularly cruel. He was the keeper of Dunsky Castle in the 1300s, a wanderer of the sea. Some have even called him a pirate. Walter had taken prisoner an Irish piper. The piper had a quick mind and a sharp tongue. He was forced to become Walter's minstrel and jester. On one particular occasion, the piper's outspoken jests offended Walter, and he threw the piper into the castle's dungeon. The piper was left in the dank and dark to starve. Walter had sentenced him to a slow and agonizing end. But the piper had gone through too much, enslaved and imprisoned though he was, to give up. He found a secret passageway out of his cell to a cave on the shore. The cliffs were high and steep, the wind howled and the water crashed on the rocks as the piper desperately tried to escape. The piper was never able to find the exit and he died a slow and lingering death. The ghost of the Irish piper is still said to march back and forth along the hidden passageway. Some have even heard the faint sounds of pipes coming from the castle amidst the crashing waves. In modern times, a workman was working on water and drainage in the area and found a large cavernous space exactly where so many for so long had reputedly heard the piper's songs from the castle. Then there's the story of the nursemaid, a young servant girl who accidentally dropped her charge, a tiny baby, from one of the windows, falling to the rocks below. She was overwhelmed with fear of what might happen to her when the laird of the castle found out what she had done. With grief and guilt, the nursemaid threw herself out of the same window. Shrieks and the cries of a baby have also been heard near the stones of Dunsky Castle.